Mark Dreyfus, thank you for your time. Good to be with you. Why should people care what's in George Brandis's diary? I think that it's a very important part of transparency and accountability that Australians should be able to see what ministers of the Commonwealth are up to, who they're meeting with, how they're occupying their day. And uh, this was a request for the first eight months of the Attorney General's appointments diary. It's now an embarrassing defeat for him that the tribunal has set aside his refusal to even process the request. So what was it exactly that you were looking for? Was it a particular meeting, a particular uh, series of events that, that piqued your interest? The request was prompted by uh, repeated complaints that I received over the first six months or so of the new government, where people were saying to me over and over again, we can't get a meeting with this Attorney General. This was particularly people from the legal assistance sector, from organisations like community legal centres, environment defenders offices, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander legal services, all of whom had their funding cut in the first six months of the new Liberal government. And I thought it appropriate to investigate whether or not in fact the Attorney General had met with any of these organisations. So do you believe that there has been uh, maybe a, a sense of ignorance on George Brandis's behalf, making decisions without, without adequately consulting with the community? Oh, I've never understood how one can cut funding from an organisation without even consulting them before the cut is put in place. Uh, we saw that in the arts portfolio as well, and mercifully the arts community of Australia no longer has to endure Senator Brandis as arts minister. But here, uh, the legal community and the rest of Australia still has to endure Senator Brandis as Attorney General. Uh, his ridiculous excuses that he put forward for not even processing a request for his appointment, the first eight months of his appointments diary in government. Uh, the tribunal set that aside and he will now have to apply the law. And uh, that's a good thing that the Attorney General understand that he's not above the rules. He's got to apply the Freedom of Information Act, which after all, he is the responsible minister for. So you don't have any evidence of this, uh, I guess, any uh, not looking at the, the appropriate uh, evidence when making decisions just yet, but that is what you're trying to get out of this uh, application to see uh, his diary. What does today's uh, decision in the Administrative Appeals Tribunal mean for your application? Is it a done and dusted process now that you will get access to this? No, Justice Jago's decision means that the complete refusal by Senator Brandis to even consider the request, claiming that uh, among other things, it would take up to 630 hours of officials' time to process this eight months of his appointments diary. That's all been set aside. His ridiculous excuses have been rejected. What now has to happen is that the diary has to be considered in accordance with the provisions of the Freedom of Information Act. Uh, some of it might well be exempt, uh, but that's a decision that we now await. We've seen in recent times um, examples from uh, governments such as the Baird government in New South Wales to uh, routinely release ministerial diaries as part of this uh, push for greater transparency in government. Is that something that you would advocate for if Labor was to, to get back in office? Oh, we saw in the previous Labor government Prime Minister Gillard routinely releasing uh, her appointment schedules. Uh, we see President Obama in the United States uh, routinely releasing his appointment schedules. And you've mentioned correctly the Baird government as well. I think it's a very healthy thing that citizens should be able to see what ministers who are working on their behalf are up to each day, uh, which doesn't mean that the fine detail of every meeting, but what it does mean is that the uh, details of who is meeting the minister, how frequently those people are meeting the minister, that's something that's publicly available. The Attorney-General's office has said that they are closely looking at this judgment uh, today. In the spirit of transparency, would we be seeing you opening up your diary for public inspection? I've got no problems, but I'm not in government. I'm in opposition. Uh, and if anyone asked to see my diary as a minister, uh, I'd have no difficulty in releasing the details because uh, what I did as minister, what I do as minister and what I hope to do again as a minister uh, is always in the public service, working in the public interest. Uh, there ought to be no problem about a Minister of the Crown on being asked to release details of their appointments diary doing just that. Mark Dreyfus, thank you for your time. Thanks very much.